This is a brief how-to video that will cover wiring an emergency stop button to an e-stop safety relay module from Banner Engineering. For this example, we will be using an illuminated dual channel four terminal e-stop and we will wire it for an automatic reset. It's important to note that the ES-FA-9AA and 11AA modules are compatible with dry contact e-stops only. Solid state e-stops are not compatible. Wiring diagrams for the modules can be found in the instruction manual and on the module label, while the pinouts for the e-stops may be found in the manual for your specific e-stop model. We will reference these diagrams throughout the process. Begin by connecting the channel 1 wires to terminals S11 and S12 on the module. Next, connect the channel 2 wires to terminals S21 and S22. If you require contact or monitoring, you will need to wire the appropriate contacts to terminals S33 and S34. If you do not need monitoring, add a jumper wire to these terminals. The illuminated e-stops require additional wiring to a power supply to enable the easy light illumination logic. The relay module's safety outputs are provided via terminals 13 and 14, 23 and 24, and 33 and 34. Connect the machine control circuits to the first terminal of each pair and connect your machine contactors to the second terminal of each pair. To simulate this, we are using a separate power supply and a K50 indicator. Last, connect a 24 volt power supply to terminals A1 and A2. That covers a basic wiring setup for an emergency stop button to a Banner e-stop safety relay. For more information, visit BannerEngineering.com.